everyone and welcome to the mini toy love channel and today i have another pokemon themed unboxing video for you guys and this time i themed it around ponyta so cute i have this adorable super soft plushie as well as the ponyta funko pop we have some japanese booster packs including eevee heroes then a remint terrarium and then a spin on the pokemon gachapon machine so lots of fun stuff let's go ahead and get started First up, let's take a closer look at our adorable Ponyta plush. This was from the Hello Ponyta series that came out in Japan. Adorable card. This is also where they have the Galarian Ponyta plush as well as a Rapidash. And I wish you guys could feel how soft this is. I would liken it to the cloth texture of a Squishmallow, but a bit firmer but still that same, just high quality plushies. I love all Pokemon Center plushies. The English International site does a good job too, and then the Japanese site is just amazing with the variety of plushies that they come out with. She can even kind of stand. I love how they include the, the flames on the legs. Super, super cute, and look at that little, little sweet face. <laughs> so soft. Next up, we'll open one of our Japanese booster packs. This is from Remix Bout, back in the Sun and Moon era. I believe there's a Pony Charm Rapidash card in the set. I believe. <laughs> okay, so first step is that Manaphy, I believe. Cool artwork, Absol, also pretty cool. Cute little deerling, I think that's Delmise. And then we have a Beware, just running through the grass. <laughs> cute card. Okay, let's unbox our Ponyta Pokemon Funko Pop figure. We gotta make room for our Gachapon machine here. So, so happy with the Pokemon series with Funko Pop. There's a lot of cuties. So this one came out with Raichu and Mew. These two I had to order online. I did find Ponyta at Target. One lonesome box, which is in actually pretty good shape. So I always like to open them from the bottom. She feels really rather heavy for a Funko Pop. And what a little cutie. I'm glad they included all the flame detailing. She's a bit heavier, probably because of the more solid body and the solid tail. They have some nice coloration going on. And despite all the flames, her head actually still moves. So that's kind of cool. Cute snout. <laughs> and just Pokemon translates so well into the Funko Pop art style. They even have the little little horseshoes on the bottom. Let's see if Ponyta stands well. She does. Oh, that's so cute. Okay, that's perfect. If you're a Pokemon lover, the, the Funko series is just awesome. That is just a fun way to collect these, these characters. Next up, let's get out one of our Pokemon-themed gotcha capsules. I know I mentioned this before, but I restocked this machine like a while ago, so I've kind of forgotten what's in these capsules. And this is a nice little surprise for both of us. So we have this little pink capsule. Very cute. I've collected a lot of these from a variety of online shops, and some of them you could buy the full set. So it looks like we have... Oh, we have a Lolan Vulpix! Okay, so this is, I believe it's the Yarn series. I think I do have the full set of this one. So, yep, I did because, because of that right there. Um, but they're cute. Five different characters playing with yarn. Okay, and look at Alolan Ball Picks. So, so happy. So she has a blue yarn ball. Her eyes are closed. Oh, these are adorable. And, of course, the matching blue is, is so complimentary to Alolan Ball Picks. I love that character's design and Alolan Ninetales. Ah, sun and moon memories are strong here. <laughs> Next up, let's open our Remint Terrarium blind box. This is from Series 6. And, oh my goodness, there's Espeon. And there we go. There's Ponyta. So... Next up, let's open our Pokemon Remint Terrarium blind box. This is from Series 6, Collection 6. And look at, in addition to Espeon, you have Ponyta. That would be awesome. I do not have this figure yet. And then there's some other cuties. Suicune's in this set, too. Wow. That's an awesome series. I feel like I've only opened one of these um, in the past. Okay. So let's see who we get. We got some Remint gum. And then... Oh, who is this? Who is this? I see purple. Ooh, is it Espeon? Yes! 
Espeon. Okay, so that's awesome. Look how cute and tiny she is. And she has some ruins. So let's get this open and put it together. First up, we have our base set, which I love how they always include the land and water. We have this broken column, a little ruined wall there. And then here is our super adorable mini Espeon. She does have pegs to hook into the water base. Nicely done. I do have the corresponding Umbreon in a different series, which I love. I love those two together. And here is the final look. She's coming out of the water there. That is so cool. Again, I love how a lot of these Terrarium and Remint sets are giving you the, the feeling of, of motion and movement with these little Terrarium dioramas, really. I love it. So, so cute. And then, of course, you can seal it up keep it free from dust <laughs> and then last up for this video perfect for SB on there I have an Eevee Heroes little booster pack this was an amazing series I did open a full case so you guys can check out that video I feel like we had a super great luck <laughs> on that so here we go we have Gordy cute little Swadloon Temple, I believe Meow, being cute. Oh, yay, we have an Umbreon V card. Yes. Okay, Umbreon is my favorite evolution. So, and that is such a cool card. Love the purple. Looks like a brick wall going on in back, too. And just a, a cool pose with his eyes looking up. And he gets to go in a really cute mythical collection sleeve. <laughs> Here's another look at all our adorable Pokemon collectibles we opened today. You guys will have to let me know what was your favorite item we opened. Feel free to leave me a comment down below. I always enjoy hearing from you guys. As for me, I love them all, but I think I'm going to choose our Espeon figure. She brought us some luck with Umbreon. It's just so unique and very fitting for that character. Love it. And that plushie is, is so soft too, though. <laughs> So that'll do it for this video. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up. If you're new to my channel, welcome. Feel free to subscribe. You can also check out my Pokemon playlist for a lot more videos just like this one. And I want to thank you guys so, so much for watching. I really appreciate it, and I hope to see you next time. Bye-bye.